This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. All right. How's everybody doing today? It's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks, but Artie's back. Excited to start streaming again. I've missed streaming. Vacation was awesome, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of nice to get back into the routine and rhythm of things. Anyhow, we're continuing with the Fruit of Grisea today. I actually can't... Oh no, no I do remember last last time we had uh, the adorable scene off uh, to get the year's supply of zebras. That was fun. <laughs> that was really fun. As to where we're going now, I'm not really sure. The Kazumi self-defense kit, eh? Oh boy, what are, what are we getting into here? All right. Well, let's continue and see how things are, shall we? We're at the schoolyard of Mahama Academy, 9.30 in the morning. This school doesn't employ a gym teacher, because we're lazy. And yet, our curriculum includes regularly scheduled physical education periods. It's said that late in the course of a certain war, a dearth of instructors meant the intensive training of new conscripts was truly worthless. It was continued mainly to keep up appearances. Similar motives probably apply in this case. With no teacher, this class is, of course, educational in name alone. Essentially, it's no different from the recreation periods we were assigned at my previous school. We're simply given independent drill time, in which we're free to pursue whatever exercise we deem necessary to maintain our physical condition. I kind of like that. As long as you enforce them having to do some kind of physical activity, then that's fine. I actually, I actually like that. Alright, I'm going for a run. Anyone want to come along? Michiru, I've kind of missed you. You're you're a great character. Also, could anyone keep up with Yuji's pace? I feel like Yuji would run really, really fast and has ridiculous stamina. <laughs> Running is the worst drug, don't you know? Look, you guys, this is gym class, okay? Would it kill you to at least change into more appropriate clothing? I think that's their only clothing they have, besides their one casual outfit. That is so not true, Marty. <laughs> Lots of people... Well, okay. I'm very, very fast for a short time. But then I slow down. <laughs> I bet Sachi would come along with me. Yeah, I know, Sachi. It's a maid uniform specialized for physical exercise, right? Good enough. How about the rest of you? <laughs> That's... <t> <laughs> That's the real problem. The real problem isn't that they don't have uh, gym clothes. The real problem is that their gym clothes just lack fashion sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody would be able to keep up with Yuji at all. Don't be spoiled. Compared to the baby blue sweats JSDF recruits get, it's downright fashionable. <laughs> Does anybody besides Amine want to join me on my run? <laughs> Arr! How's it going, David? <laughs> welcome, welcome. No pirates today. Unless this game takes a massive turn. <laughs> You're not wearing the right clothes either, you know. Aminate, you wore the gym clothes when we played sports ball earlier. Rubber's great, what are you talking about? So what? It's perfectly functional. Oh, oh, David, this game is exceedingly weird, so just be prepared. <laughs> Don't come crying to me if you get exhausted halfway through. This game, if this game has pirates, they're not going to be like the Yar pirates. They're going to be like modern-day pirates who don't talk like that. Oh no, why do we have to run with Amine? Oh! Maybe we get to stick with Michiru and Makina. That would be more interesting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if there's one word I would use to describe Amine, it is definitely fat. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Laptop has no built-in mic. Uh, you could try getting... Well, 
I know I use just for streams like this and for Among Us just a generic Logitech headset. It was like twenty, thirty dollars, and it's lasted me several years, and it's pretty good. <laughs> Michiru, this is PE class. You don't just get to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> then again, this is exactly what teenagers would do. I wasn't on vacation. Okay. Technically speaking, I was out of... I was on vacation technically last week. I technically came back on Sunday, like six days ago. But I was still on vacation from streaming. <laughs> no, I did not take my headset on vacation. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Yumiko's got the latest Harry Potter novel. <laughs> Hammer Space, Michiru. It came from Hammer Space. Yeah! Yumiko, I, that sounds great. That That's how I would want to spend a hot day. Except substitute uh, substitute read with Play Fire Emblem Free Houses. <laughs> How's it going, Nick? <laughs> it's uh, I, It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks. Um, David, this game is rated M, and this is the censored version. <laughs> I generally don't play M-rated games, but I've heard good things about this. And I am enjoying it, if, but it is a bit dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I make fun of the M-rated parts that don't need to be in it. <laughs> they should have made ca they should have played a game of Capture the Flag. <laughs> Honestly, I'm relating to Yumiko a lot. She just kind of wants to do her own thing and is like, these people are so weird. <laughs> what, what attitude? Don't worry, I've checked. This game is safe to stream on Twitch. The uncensored version is not, but the censored version is. <laughs> Your training? Good question. What is she gonna do? I do not like the sound of Kazami style super self defense techniques. That's gonna be weird, isn't it? Um, yeah, David, I'm pretty sure Machina, the girl on the right, is like an 8-year-old. She's technically supposed to be 14 or 15, but we know SMFO. Michiru looks like she's actually a high school student, though. <laughs> Maybe I am being a little mean, because I, when I was in college, I there was a girl in my college who literally looked like she was 12. So it does happen. It's just unusual, and for a dating sim, kind of weird. <laughs> well, I'm a guy, so... Um... This is getting good. Michiru is probably not the best person to test your self-defense techniques with, but it'll be entertaining! Not tuna fish, man. Oh. Rip headphone users. Oh, 
Well, I mean, actually, screaming for help is not a bad technique. It's just screaming for tuna fish, man, is probably not the best. <laughs> Oh boy. That is also kind of true. That's actually not a bad point. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll give, I'll give you that. That's actually a fairly good idea. If you're in, like, a place where people could be. <laughs> but if you're in an abandoned cornfield like most hor horror movies, then you're gonna have to learn how to do jujitsu. <laughs> Actually, wait, come to think of it, Yuji did the whole scream for help thing when he uh, fought <laughs> the chain gain in the, in the alleyway. それは点ずれば大声を出さなどどうしてくるそうですが、それは点ずれば大声を出されれば仕事にならないからです。ボーム。犯人に逆らわず、言う通りにしていればいいという考え方もありますが、誰にしたらいいと思います。Again, it's all about the situation you're in. Yeesh. <laughs> Nick, you literally just described me. I am a 24-year-old man who looks 17. At least when I shave, I look 17. <laughs> I'm so glad we don't have to follow Yuji and Amane on their most likely very uncomfortable run. Oh, well, that's when you pull out your AR-15. Why do I get the feeling that this, what they're talking about, is going to play a role in the future of this game? We need more action sequences. Those are the best parts. Well, second best parts, after the English lessons. <laughs> Mugger with a knife. Got it. Both. <laughs> Makina's gonna pull out her AR-15. Which she can definitely hold in one hand. I bet you have a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> when did Makina become the self-defense expert? 
右腕一本を隠すことで相手の動きを牽制しつつ相手の思考すらしない I'm pretty sure this would only work on Michiru though What the What? <laughs> Did she just do an uppercut? <laughs> Also, poor Michiru. Oh no! Eesh. Oh yeah! <laughs> Slide dash is one of the best abilities in Kingdom Hearts. Also, I love the rock music. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh no, when I said I wanted action scenes, this is not what I was talking about, but I'll take it. Oh my gosh. Don't be such a coward, Michiru. You're like twice her size. I mean, Michiru wouldn't be hard to throw off balance. She 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 stands in a very very weird way. <laughs> what the heck? Please don't give her a concussion. What the heck? Wow. Please don't do that. And that's how Michiru died. Wow, that happened. Um, should we take her to the hospital that doesn't have a doctor? Because she is definitely in serious pain right now. <laughs> That's not something you could ever forget about in today's times. Yeah, Marty, Makina just, like, beat Michiru to a pulp as a self-defense training. <laughs> it's also terrifying. Well, 
I mean, if there was a character that the game would have caused to be beat up to a pulp, it would be Michiru, because the game just loves beating her up, both physically and emotionally. <laughs> hey, Amane, how was your run? <laughs> All the while Yuji is calling you a maggot. So yeah, that's probably not an enjoyable experience. <laughs> that's my theory! <laughs> actually, I think I said he was a robot, not a, just a cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, running with asthma, that would probably be horrible. <laughs> Fortunately, none of the characters have asthma as far as we know. I think I think they just have mental issues. <laughs> hey, who wants to take me through to the hospital? Nope, that's just not true. <laughs> Soon after, having returned to the athletic grounds, I ended up having to apologize to Michiru over something or other in order to deflect a mysterious fit of violent indignation. And to this day, I have no idea what she was so angry about. Well, <laughs> that happened. See, the principal is the teacher here. Unless she just came in to announce, like, hey, folks, guess what? McDonald's is giving out free hash browns in the cafeteria to the first five customers. Guess which one of the students wouldn't get there in time. At the sound of the bell, the principal promptly cuts off the lesson and puts away her chalk. Her consistent punctuality in these matters is reminiscent of a clock-punching civil servant counting down the years until retirement. Perhaps I should try to learn from her example. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a good example. <laughs> Someone needs to help this girl. <laughs> She's seriously disturbed. <laughs> oh yeah, 100%. Free McDonald's hash browns, that would be amazing. Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> Don't worry, Amine, it's McDonald's hash browns. It's impossible to eat those with good manners. Um, okay, I can play the most musically complex instrument of all, the triangle. Even after she, even as she passes on the reminder, the principal is efficiently putting away her textbooks. As soon as the words are out of her mouth, she exits the classroom with the cheerful expression of an office lady thinking over her lunch. <laughs> that's because <laughs> that's because they couldn't get a music teacher. But don't worry, today we have Yo-Yo Ma and Joshua Redman coming in, <laughs> so it's going to be pretty good. <laughs> this is the first time I've selected music for my afternoon elective. What's the class like at this school? Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I can't imagine that the military that Yuji was at earlier <laughs> did music class at all. <laughs> yo, yo, Mog's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Cabbage hair professor, I want to meet them. An instrumental performance? 
Okay, so we're gonna have the the triangle, the slide whistle, the jaw harp, <laughs> the recorder, and the maracas. <laughs> and, oh, and the kazoo. Makana, are you trying to gaslight her? Because that's not okay. Don't fall for it. Everyone's favorite instrument is the kazoo. This isn't hard. <laughs> Sachi, can, do you have a grand piano in that locker? <laughs> do you want black or white? <laughs> it seems she's suggesting we have our dedicated miracle worker pull musical instruments out of her hat. What? Do not do that! No, you massively misinterpreted that. What? How in the world did you get that out of what Michiru said? Seriously? No, Michiru, no. <laughs> well, we all knew that. Uh, sh I should make more things to do with channel points? I could do that. I'll have to think over what to do, for though. For the most part, I feel like most people just want to unlock the emotes, because ain't nobody wanting to subscribe for those awesome emotes. And I don't blame you. まあ、Okie dokie. As soon as she's formally received her orders, Sachi runs over to her locker in the usual manner. In no time at all, she returns to Michiru and hands over the requested wind instrument. Ten thousand points and you play a humongous entertainment notification? I already have that for a variety of other uh, alerts. <laughs> I still need to get my uh, my raid alert, though. I have, like, a tiny one, but I want to do something a little more. What? Oh, think about it, Marty. Oh, yeah, she's got a factory making those things in the locker. Yeah, that's a little weird, Sachi. Well, I'm impressed. Sachi, not only did you prepare the instrument instantly, you're apparently a fairly competent engraver. <laughs> Mitru's like, what do you mean she is? I want a compliment. <laughs> Mitru has the weirdest way of standing, though. Like, seriously. <laughs> uh oh, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I want to play the organ, please and thank you. Yeah, sounds reasonable. Yoshi indeed. Someone's going to ask for a piano or an organ, aren't they? Seems our preparations are complete. 
While I've been sitting here reading my paperback, Sachi has been methodically carrying musical instrument cases of various shapes and sizes into the classroom. This seems to be the last of them. By the way, why did you go with Kasaka Asakaki? <laughs> That's the only instrument people can play at it. Sorry, didn't quite catch that. No, I don't really think it's anything to get that defensive about. Definitely a bit of a surprising choice, though. <laughs> wow! Alright then! Then play the kazoo, that's more refined. I mean... There's nothing to be ashamed of, that's more than I can play. Don't be surprised when people call you cute. I understand that she's upset, but why glare at me? Because we're the scapegoat. Did everyone pick the recorder? <laughs> With obvious relish, Amine takes her instrument from its case and gives it a vigorous strum. Oh my gosh, Amine's playing electric guitar. She just, she just got to, scored some extra cool points. I see, you chose an electric guitar, Amine. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what? Actually, that's in character for Amine. You're not helping matters, Amine. Just a thought here. If she has a problem with her image, maybe she could try to break that habit of aggressively mashing her obobs against people. <laughs> Alright, just glare off. <laughs> Michiru proudly brandishes an enormous musical instrument. Please be the tuba. A harp? Oh. Michiru, you are not an intellectual. That's not putting you down. Intellectuals are just a different type of person. <laughs> I wanted Michiru to play the tuba. That would be so funny. Wow! Would that work? <laughs> Maybe get like the smaller kind of harp, like Zelda has in Skyward Sword. Not to worry, I will now provide you with a musical instrument ideally suited to your capabilities, Michiru. Yeah. I quietly nod to Sachi, who hands Michiru a small xylophone used in the school's public announcement broadcasts. Xylophones are cool, don't knock them. Dubious as your physical strength may be, I think you should be able to handle this, right? Wow. No. No one seems willing to answer that question. Apparently, I'm not the only one who thinks a performing ape is actually a pretty good match for Michiru in the brains department. Wow! People are so vicious! Gesundheit. She did pick an organ! As she speaks, Makina immediately sounds off a demonstration note. Oh, synthesizer. Keyboards are awesome. 
She knows a guy. That's not legal. <laughs> so it would seem, yes. Keyboards are great. They're really cool. And what would you use them for? I did? <laughs> did she just play that on the keyboard? <laughs> that was good, Makina. Also, Mitri looked very happy to hear that. <laughs> That sounded like some a sound effect you'd hear in Earthbound. <laughs> and out comes the box cutter. Maybe not. <laughs> Everyone is just glaring at people in this video. <laughs> hmm. She's using it in strange ways, but the versatility of this instrument might make a good fit for Makina, as a complement to her limited powers of self-expression. Well then, last up would be Sachi. What instrument did you choose? With a smile, Sachi places a box of wood slightly larger than a tissue box on top of her desk. Is she playing the wood block? Please be the wood block? <laughs> Wait. Is this a theremin? Oh my gosh, theremins are really cool. Oh yes! From books, yes. This is the first time I've actually laid eyes on one. It's it's a really cool instrument, and it, it's great for making like otherworldly sounds, like well, like whoa, like UFO sounds. Hey, of course, she reads a lot. <laughs> Fun new game. Is it a musical instrument, or is it a Hello Kitty character? She doesn't deny it, which probably means Makina hit the bullseye. Wow. I'm going to play my nose. I don't have any particular favorite, so I'm fine with playing whatever the instructor recommends. That is such a UG answer, though. Alright, then why don't you choose something for me? Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? I don't have any particular strengths or weaknesses in this field, after all. It'll probably be my first time playing whatever instrument you choose, so it's all the same to me. Oh wait, that's an electric guitar. How about a vacuum cleaner? She's from like the old timey town though, isn't she? No, you don't want a total newbie playing the violin. What's with that face, Sachi? I don't think I've seen that sprite before. Hmm. I haven't touched any of these instruments before, so it's a bit hard to choose. <laughs> Play all the instruments. I see. That's not a bad idea either. <laughs> I want the double-necked electric guitar, please, and thank you. 
なところで楽器なんか出して。<laughs> that is the best and worst idea ever, Principal Tachibana. No, we were just in the middle of choosing our instruments for the upcoming class. You sure about that? Can we play instruments? Wow, we've seen. The principal hands over a copy of her detailed class schedule. Just as she says, the words music, choral lesson are printed in the relevant box. I see. Thank you for correcting our faulty intel intelligence. Thanks, principal. Uh, Makina's gonna get it. <laughs> My face when I see fake news. <laughs> hey, Collins, welcome. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> and everyone's mad at Machina for lying about us having to play instruments for music class. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up, Makina. You ended up wasting an entire lunch period. A little punishment is only natural. Wow. <laughs> Makina, I sentence you to having to listen to somebody playing the violin for the first time. No! <laughs> like Kotomi. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Don't just don't let her get away with that. What a manipulator! Wow, we're getting a lot of the zoomed out sprites. We haven't really seen these before. It's, it's very interesting. <laughs> As Amine and Michiru take their first step forward, uh, Sachi shoulders mocking him like a backpack and darts out of the classroom. And once again, Murder Girl is the normal one here. And the principal. <laughs> Why can't we be friends? <laughs> hmm. Makina's flight from justice isn't exactly admirable, but Sachi's absolute obedience is pretty amoral in its own right. How is Sachi outrunning them when she has to carry Mac Machina around like a piggyback? Maybe Sachi has crazy stamina. Minutes later, when the bell announcing the end of lunch period brought her request to an end, Machina's boastful jeering dissolved into miserable screams. Did you think they would get temporary amnesia after lunch period ended? <laughs> 